Okay, so now we're going to do the um, Porcupine Shaker card. And oops, this is what the card looks like. Um, this is what the inside looks like. There's a shaker element, so we're going to do this today. Okay, so in your packet, um, you will have all the elements that you need. Um, here's the acetate. Here's the porcupine. I'm sorry, I called it a porcupine. It's actually a hedgehog. Some die-cut hearts, um, a packet of sequence items, um, this die-cut window, and these are um, an extra paper of um, hearts that you can cut out to decorate the front if you don't like the ones that are in your packet. This is the card base, and this is the inside card where you can write your message. Okay, so we can just lay all these out. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this window card and this acetate. So what you're gonna do is you'll see the embossed edges here, stitched edges and you want this to be on the front of the card so you're going to turn this one upside down and then you're going to put adhesive all the way around because what you're going to do is you are going to glue this window acetate onto the back of this so this will produce your window for your shaker card and i like to use this kind of adhesive runner you can use any kind of glue. I cut it just a little bit smaller than the green paper so it should fit together nicely. Okay, so when you flip it around, you see the stitched edge, edge on the outside, on top. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put foam tape all the way around the boxes. And you want to make sure you put the foam tape so that the boxes are completely closed. This is where you're going to place these shaker elements within the windows. And so therefore, we need to close the boxes with the foam tape. This is the foam tape I use, and I like to fold these over to double layer them. So what I do is I just kind of like measure it out and I just put my finger there and I cut it. And just peel off one side, leave the other side still attached. And I try to get kind of close to the edge of the window box. I like to do all the horizontals first. There are foam strips that you can use um, where you don't have to use this roll, but this is the only one that I have right now. Okay. 
and then when I'm closing the box I just make sure I um, cut the foam from edge to edge to close off the box you see how that's closed from edge to edge Remember when you're doing this, don't let it go into the window because you don't want the foam pieces to be showing through, right? Like right now, you can't see the foam pieces. So make sure it's not coming into the window and make sure it's not going out of the green paper either. And there you have your window. This is going to be the backing of your shaker element. I'm sorry, I think I had said that this was an extra piece of paper where you can cut out the hearts. Um, that was my mistake. This is actually the background paper of your window. Okay, so the die cut heart, you should have at least three. So that should be sufficient to decorate the front of your thing. So don't cut this out, as I said in the beginning. So now that you have your window element all done and you're sure that the boxes are all closed, you're gonna take your Ziploc bag with the shaker elements and fill it about half a little bit about like maybe one third of the box you don't want it to overfill it because you want the shaker elements to be able to move around and shake but you don't want to underfill it either because you want to be able to see it so you want to put it in about one third Try to keep it away from the foam. Try to keep it towards the center because you're going to be peeling back the labels and you don't want the sequins to be sticking to the foam. Some of it might be sticking to the edge of the foam because of static clean, and that's okay. So for me, I think that's a pretty good amount. Um, you can rearrange the um, sequins um, so that they're kind of facing out. Okay. Try to get them towards the center because now you're going to be peeling off the, the backing of the adhesive. Okay, so just be careful. What I like to do is I use, I like to use one hand to hold down the green and then just use the other hand to peel off the backing. It bounces a little bit, so just be careful. So hold it down, good.
Yay. So we got all of the <laughs> backing off. And then... So this is going to be the window. I In this card, I'm using with the heart face up. So that means the heart is going to be facing the foam pieces. And I made this sheet also slightly smaller than the green one. And so it should fit nicely. And I'm going to kind of turn it this way, look at the edge, and just kind of eyeball it, place it down, and then push down. And then so you can imagine where the um, foam pieces are and where the boxes are. And just make sure you p push down really hard. I mean, not so hard, but you just want to make sure that it's adhering well. Okay, and then flip it over and ta-da! Yay! So that's your shaker card. Okay, so now what you're going to do, the easy part is, you are just going to glue this on to your card base. Make sure you look at the orientation of your card base. It should be opening this way. Add adhesive to the back. Sometimes these tape runners are kind of tricky, so the way I like to use it is pull down and then kind of do a twisting motion and then up. Roll it down, twisting motion, and up. And then I just do one more. Okay, so I want mine to go like this. And then this is going to be the card base. And there is a border around this green. I mean, so the yellow border, so you want to kind of fit in about one eighth of an inch all the way around. So it's kind of like this. And then you eyeball it on each end and you stick it down. Okay? So that's it. And the inside of the card, this is where you're going to write. So. I've included a white sheet here, so you just add this. And then you put it here like that. And then go ahead and add another stamp as a sentiment. I just put you are cute here. You can put anything that you want. Um, and now let's get to our hedgehogs. So you should have two brown pieces and two light brown pieces. And you should have three hearts. The brown pieces fit over the hedgehogs like this. So there's the textured side of the, the, the hedgehog top and then there's the flat side. So the hedgehog, the texture side is gonna go on top and it fits over like this. This one is gonna fit on top of this, so you just flip it around. Okay, so we just glue it on. And just when you glue it on, just make sure that the hairs of the hedgehog, um, I don't know, is this a hedgehog or a porcupine? I'm not sure. But anyways, um, the, the, the ridges should line up. And then get like a black pen <laughs> and then this is kind of like the ear so you're gonna put the eyes kind of like right here nose here and then a smile I just added a face. 
this is the ear so the eyes go like right here I like to add this little thing and then the nose and then a smile And you can just place them wherever you'd like. Place the hearts wherever you'd like. And there you have it there's your shaker card I hope you had fun making this with me thank you so much okay bye